Hi all, in this video I am going to show you how to create an RDS instance in AWS. RDS stands for Relational Database Service which is the DBS service from AWS. By launching an RDS instance you will get a DB instance of your choice in the cloud. Currently Amazon supports this six relational databases. Ok, now let's get into action. The first step is to log into AWS console. Once you are logged in, type in RDS here, which takes you to the RDS homepage. Click Get Started Now. I'm using MySQL for this video as it's a very common database and can be used with GPL license. Click Select here. Here I am selecting dev slash test instance. Production instances will be more powerful and expensive at the same time. Keeping the license model and engine version as the default here. For DB instance, I am selecting T2 Micro, which gives me 1 CPU and 1 GB RAM. Multi AC deployment, which means that uh, AWS sets up a synchronous replication of your database to another availability zone within the same region so in case of a failure at the primary AC your DB will be automatically switch over to the other AC selecting it now here for time being selecting the storage type as general purpose SSD a provisioned SSD will give better IO performance the storage the minimum is 5 GB so I'm keeping it as 5 for DB instance I'm giving AGK master username Anil and I'm giving a password here click next selecting the default VPC and default subnet here keeping it publicly accessible so that I can connect to it from my laptop if you have an application which is running in an EC2 instance in AWS which needs to connect to the database you can select no here no preference for availability zones means AWS will pick one of this which is least loaded. Security groups I am selecting again the default which allows connection to all ports from all the IPs. I'll explain security groups in a separate video. If you want a database to be created by default when the instance is ready, you can provide the name here. Otherwise, you can always log into the MySQL instance and create as many databases as you want. I am giving demo here, keeping the database port as 3306, which is the default MySQL port. AWS uh, by default keeps a backup for your database and retain it for specific days. I don't need a backup, so I'm keeping it zero here. Click launch DB instance. This takes a couple of minutes. Let's wait for it saying that the DB instance is being created. The instance is in creating state. Let's wait for some time. Okay, now the instance is in available state and this is the endpoint that I can use to connect to the instance. I'm just copying this, going to a terminal, try to connect using the endpoint. Port number is 3306, username is annual and password. Yeah, here we are logged into our database instance. As you can see, along with the default databases, the database which we have provided during the instance creation that is also created. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.